So, how the telescope do it? Could this picture show us a place with conditions for life? And what does this discovery mean for understanding other planets and the universe? Let's check out the clearer picture of Proxima b from the James Webb Telescope. Proxima Centauri b is out there in space, orbiting its star, Proxima Centauri, only about 4.2 light years away. This planet has us wondering if it's like Earth. Could it have oceans and life? Proxima Centauri also has another planet, Proxima Centauri c. Proxima Centauri b gets about the same energy from its star as Earth gets from the Sun, so scientists are curious if it could have water or even support life. There are tons of exoplanets, planets around other stars, out there in the universe, maybe 206 trillion stars, so there are a lot of possibilities. Some of these planets just wander around in space. Proxima Centauri b is kind of weird because it has a really short year, only 11.7 Earth days. It's way closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, so one side is always in sunlight and the other is always dark. How James Webb got the picture? Proxima b was first found using the radial velocity method, which is a cool way to find exoplanets. It involves watching for tiny movements of a star caused by the gravity of a planet orbiting it. As the planet orbits, it makes the star move a little, and scientists can spot this by looking at changes in the star's light. For Proxima b, those small changes showed that there was a planet there. Finding Proxima b was a big deal because it meant there was a planet in the habitable zone of the star closest to our sun. This got scientists and space fans super interested. They want to know what secrets Proxima b might hold and what it means for understanding life outside of Earth. Proxima Centauri b is pretty amazing. The trio of Regulus, Canopus, and Proxima Centauri are moving through space together and form the closest star system to us. If you look at the night sky, Regulus and Canopus are bright stars in the Centaurus constellation. But Proxima Centauri is different. Also called Alpha Centauri, it's a red dwarf star that's only 0.21 light years from its brighter buddies. It was found back in 1915 by Robert Thorburn Innes. Even though it's close, Proxima Centauri is hard to see because it's not very bright. The clearer picture and the problems. Red dwarf stars such as Proxima Centauri make a lot of energy. This star should be around for another 4 trillion years. But whether or not life could live around Proxima Centauri is tricky. As a flare star, Proxima Centauri has sudden bursts of energy. It's also smaller than our sun, meaning its habitable zone, where life could exist, is much closer to the star than ours is to the sun. Enter Proxima b a planet in this zone that's about the same distance from its star as Earth is from the Sun. But, Proxima b gets a lot of ultraviolet radiation, way more than Earth does from the Sun. This radiation could mess with important stuff like nitrogen and oxygen. Plus, just being in the habitable zone doesn't mean a planet can support life. Proxima b might not have what it needs to keep the climate stable or have water on the surface. Without a good atmosphere, any life on Proxima b would be exposed to the harshness of space, which makes life as we know it unlikely. The mission to learn about Proxima b. Even with the problems, we still want to know more about Proxima b. One of the main tools for this is the James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched in 2021. This telescope could help us answer a big question. Is there life on Proxima b? It's not easy to figure out the truth about Proxima b. The James Webb Space Telescope had to be set up carefully to get accurate pictures. A physicist at Harvard said that Proxima b needs a special approach because it's in the habitable zone and might absorb and give off infrared radiation that the telescope can detect. This telescope can pick up faint light from the planet's surface, which could help us find water or an atmosphere. Whether Proxima b has water is a big deal. Water is essential for life on Earth, so if it's on Proxima b, it would make the planet more likely to be habitable. Proxima b gets about the same amount of solar energy as Earth. But it's close to red dwarf star means it gets a lot of radiation and magnetic activity. This could mess with its atmosphere. Also, we are not sure the liquid water can exist. Right now, scientists are using models to look at different possibilities for Proxima b's environment and water. Some think there might be huge oceans, while others think any water might be frozen or underground. It's hard to directly find water on Proxima b. 
It takes fancy telescope technology and certain atmospheric conditions. But as our telescopes get better, we should learn more about Proxima B's atmosphere and water situation. However, just because it has an atmosphere doesn't mean Proxima B is habitable. An astrophysicist at Princeton says it could be like Venus, with a thick, toxic atmosphere and extreme heat that makes it unlivable. Proxima B in life. Proxima B is a cool neighbor because it might have conditions for life. It's close enough that we could send missions there someday, which makes scientists and space fans excited. Getting to Proxima B would be tough. If we used existing spacecraft, it would take around 23,000 years, but we should keep trying to come up with new ways to explore space, like solar sails. These super thin sails could move spacecraft really fast and maybe get to Proxima Centauri in 20 years. That would mean we could explore an Earth like planet in our lifetime. The discovery of Proxima B has made us even more curious about the universe. It shows that we want to explore the unknown, find new worlds, and think about whether there's life beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is amazing, but it has limits. It can see far off objects and look for life on planets like Proxima B, but it's hard to tell for sure if there are atmospheres and good conditions for life. Proxima B, which might be like Venus, reminds us that just having an atmosphere doesn't mean a planet is livable. Still, the telescope can detect tiny signs of life, so it has a lot of potential. Our universe is huge and mysterious, with lots of planets waiting to be explored. These planets, called exoplanets, orbit stars far away and come in all sizes and shapes. Some are like Jupiter and Saturn, while others are similar to Earth. One cool type of exoplanet is the gas giants. These planets are similar to Jupiter and Saturn but are way bigger. Some are so huge that they're called super Jupiters. There are also hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that orbit really close to their stars and are super hot. Besides gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which are about the size of Uranus and Neptune. Some of these are hot Neptunes and small Neptunes, which are closer to their stars and have mysterious atmospheres. Trying to understand exoplanets like Proxima b has led scientists to create new technologies that help us learn more about the universe. For example, the transit method, where scientists watch for a star to dim as a planet passes in front of it, has helped us find thousands of exoplanets. Many of these planets are in the habitable zone of their stars, where there might be liquid water. These discoveries make us wonder if we're alone in the universe. Besides finding planets like Proxima b, scientists are also looking for biosignatures, which are signs that could show there's life on other planets. By studying the atmospheres of exoplanets, scientists can find gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are linked to living things. The James Webb Space Telescope should be able to help with this because it can detect these gases even on planets that are far away. If scientists find biosignatures, it would suggest that there could be life out there. Even as we look at distant stars, we're also searching for life in our own solar system. Planets like Mars, moons like Europa and Enceladus, and even places like Titan are being studied for liquid water, organic compounds, and possible life. These places are closer to us, but it's still hard to explore them. For example, Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, is thought to have a big ocean under its icy surface. Scientists hope that future missions to Europa will show whether there could be life in that ocean, which would be a huge deal. Robots are playing a big role in this. Rovers, landers, and orbiters have been gathering data from Mars and other planets. The Perseverance rover, for example, is currently exploring Mars and looking for signs of ancient life. These missions are helping us learn more about space and could lead to the discovery of life beyond Earth. In the future, space exploration will probably focus on finding more Earth-like exoplanets and studying their atmospheres and surfaces. New technologies and better space telescopes will help scientists make more detailed observations of exoplanets, bringing us closer to answering the question of whether we're truly alone. When we look at the vastness of space, we see lots of exoplanets, planets circling stars that aren't our sun. With something like 206 trillion stars scattered all over the universe, there are endless possibilities for exoplanets. Some of these planets just float around in space. In all of these planets, Proxima Centauri b is a strange puzzle. 
Its year is super short, only 11.7 Earth days, and it circles its star way closer than Earth circles the Sun. Because of this, one side of the planet is always in sunlight, and the other side is always dark, which just adds to the planet's weirdness. How James Webb Got the Picture Proxima b was first found using the radial velocity method, which changed everything about finding exoplanets. This method watches for tiny movements of a star caused by the pull of a planet. As the planet circles, it makes the star move a little. Space experts see this movement by checking for changes in the star's light, called the Doppler shift. For Proxima b, these small changes in the star's light showed that this faraway planet was there, proving just how well the radial velocity method works for finding planets outside our solar system. Finding Proxima b was a huge deal because it showed there's a planet in the habitable zone of the star closest to our sun. This made researchers, experts, and space fans really excited. They're eager to learn about the secrets Proxima may hold and what this discovery means for understanding the universe and if there's life out there. Proxima Centauri b is a never-ending wonder. Three space buddies, Regulus, Canopus, and Proxima Centauri, float together in space, making up the closest star system to our own. When we look at the night sky, Regulus and Canopus mix together to create a bright light in the Centaurus constellation. These stars are the third brightest, which stuns us. But it's Proxima Centauri that holds a secret. Also called Alpha Centauri C, this red dwarf is only 0.21 light years from its brighter friends. That's way farther than Earth is from the Sun. Proxima Centauri means closest star in Latin, which shows that it's our closest space neighbor. Back in 1915, Robert Thorburn Innes showed this star to the world. Even though it's close, Proxima Centauri is hard to see without help. Proxima Centauri and what problems it has. Red dwarf stars, like Proxima Centauri, make energy through strong internal movement. This star will keep being a main star for another 4 trillion years while lasting. But, if Proxima Centauri can support life is tricky. Because it's a flare star, Proxima Centauri has sudden bursts of energy. Its small size means that any possible habitable zone, where life could be supported, is much closer to the star than our sun's habitable zone. Here comes Proxima b, a planet in this zone, about the same distance as Earth is from the sun. But looks can trick you. Proxima b deals with strong ultraviolet radiation, way stronger than what gets to Earth. This radiation is dangerous even to hydrogen atoms, which can hurt important elements like nitrogen and oxygen. Also, being in the habitable zone doesn't mean there's an environment to support life. Proxima b might not have the environment needed to support life, handle the climate, and create a surface that can support water. If there's no strong atmosphere to protect it, any life on Proxima b would be exposed to space, which makes life as we know it unlikely. The mission to learn about Proxima b. Even with these challenges, the mission to learn the secrets of Proxima b is a big reason for space studying. The James Webb Space Telescope is a big help. After delays, it was launched at the end of 2021, this advanced telescope could help answer one of the most exciting questions. Is there life on Proxima b? Finding out the truth about Proxima b won't be easy. The James Webb Space Telescope was changed to make sure its pictures are correct. According to a well-known theoretical physicist at Harvard, Proxima b needs a careful plan. The planet is in the habitable zone of its star so it might take in and send out infrared radiation that can support life, which the James Webb Space Telescope can detect. This telescope can get faint light from the planet's surface, which helps researchers look for signs of water or an atmosphere. Whether Proxima b has water is really important for learning about this exoplanet that's close to us. Proxima b has water, a key piece for life on Earth, it would mean there's a bigger chance the planet is habitable or can support some kind of life. Proxima b is in its star's habitable zone, so it receives as much solar energy as Earth receives from the Sun. But, because it's close to its red dwarf star, the planet deals with strong radiation and magnetic activity. This could mess with any atmosphere. Also, it's still not known if there's liquid water. Right now, scientists are using models to study different ideas about Proxima b's environment and if it has water. Some think there could be big oceans on the planet while others think any water might be ice or hidden under the planet's surface. 
It's hard to find water on Proxima b. It needs advanced telescope tech and special atmospheric conditions. As our ways of watching keep getting better, the mystery of Proxima b's atmosphere and if it has water will be revealed, which will help us understand this planet. Even if there's an atmosphere, it doesn't mean Proxima b can support life. Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University, warns that we shouldn't assume it can support life just because it has an atmosphere. He says the planet might be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere and extreme heat, which makes it not fit for life as we know it. Proxima b and the chance of life. Proxima b is a close neighbor that makes us wonder about life. It's so close to Earth that it's a good target for future space missions, which has made space experts eager. We can't get to Proxima b right now, but it's a place for future missions. It's super hard to reach Proxima b. If we use today's spacecraft tech, like Voyager 2, it would take 23,000 years to get there. Solar sails could change space travel and let spacecrafts travel at fast speeds and reach Proxima Centauri system, where Proxima b is, in 20 years. This tech makes it seem like we could actually explore a planet like Earth in our lifetime. Thoughts and future finds. The discovery of Proxima b has made people really curious about the universe again and given them hope. It shows that we really want to explore the unknown, find new worlds, and think about life somewhere else. The James Webb Space Telescope is a big deal in today's space study, but it's not perfect. Even though it can watch space stuff and show if planets like Proxima b could support life, it has issues with figuring out atmospheres and spotting the right conditions for life. Proxima b kind of reminds us of Venus, because it has an atmosphere, but it might not be able to support life. The telescope can spot even small signs of life. Our universe has lots of planets that want to show us their secrets. These planets are far from our solar system, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Some are like Jupiter and Saturn, while others are like Earth. Gas giants are some of the most fun planets. These planets are like Jupiter and Saturn, but even bigger. There are also hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that circle really close to their stars. It's super hot on these planets.